Expression is what gives music feeling and makes it artistic and human. Music without expression just sounds dead, almost like a computer playing it. You probably already know this, and if you have a favourite musician, it's probably because of the way that they play with feeling and expression. But how can we learn to play like this? How can we put this expression into our music, especially when there's so many other things to think about, like technique? Expression is something that we all intuitively know, because we use it all the time when we speak. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm using expression. But let me give you an even clearer example. Let's take a phrase such as, it's my birthday tomorrow. Now there's so many different ways that I can express those words. I might be really excited and say, it's my birthday tomorrow. Or I might be feeling a bit melancholic and sad and say, it's my birthday tomorrow. Or maybe I've got to work or I've got to go to school and I'm so a bit angry and I say, it's my birthday tomorrow. There's so many different ways that we can say the same phrase and the same thing applies in music. The notes never change, but the way we play them does. Just like in speech, the words never change, but the way we say them does. So what's actually happening each time I say those different phrases? Well, if we look a bit closer, you'll see that I'm using a series of expressive tools. We can do the same thing in music, and here are a few of them. Tempo. Music doesn't have to be exactly the same speed all the time. Sometimes it speeds up, sometimes it slows down. Dynamics, how loud and soft we play something. We can use dynamics in every phrase that we play. Sometimes we speak a bit louder, and sometimes we speak a bit softer. Articulation, are we speaking with very defined words, or are we drawing them out into one long phrase? We can do exactly the same with music. So these are just a few ideas, perhaps you've come across them before, but how can we actually use them in our playing? How can we actually practice with these tools to make our music expressive? When a great musician is playing, for example, your, your favourite musician that does play with a lot of feeling and expression, they're not thinking of these individual tools every time they're playing. Instead, they're doing the opposite. They're probably not thinking at all. As musicians, it's easy to think that we need to tell the music what to do. After all, expression is what makes the music sound human. But actually, if you listen carefully as you play, the music will tell you what to do. It will tell you when there's tension and release. It will tell you when you need to play loudly in a phrase or when you need to play a bit softer. So really, we want to just observe what's happening, try and listen to the music and just get an understanding of what the music naturally wants to do, rather than trying to force our own ideas into the music, because then it won't sound natural either. So of course, we do need to practice a lot so that we can play through the piece without having to think about our technique. But then once you know the piece well and you're confident with your technique, play around with the music. Don't play it the same every time. Experiment and see what things work and see what the music is trying to tell you. You want to try and give some life to the music, give some playfulness to it. And if you listen carefully, the music will give its own direction and we can just play very naturally.